Outside, so we got inside really quickly because the last thing I want are puppies born outside, especially with it being so cold today. So we're in here. She's in her box. Hopefully, we're gonna start having puppies here soon. Her temp dropped two days ago now. It will be 48 hours at 4 p.m. today. It's now 10 o'clock. So we'll see what ends up happening, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm definitely shaking. Close the door there to get the dogs to go away so she doesn't feel stressed out by them. But I'll keep you guys updated. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. And hopefully, we'll be having puppies real soon. We're about to push one out.
puppy number one is here. All right, Miss Hattie just had her second puppy, a girl, so we've had a boy and a girl so far. It's crazy. Sometimes this one is like cream, like almost white. It's kind of crazy, not what I was expecting. Um, but she might have some darker markings when she draws off. Got like tuxedo markings. I don't know what she has yet. We'll have to wait and see.
height guys so that makes our total seven so we've got one left um we have five boys two girls We're doing pretty good we've got four of the like white with red markings and then three of the dark red so we'll see what the last one is at least i believe we'll see so one more to go all right guys so i'm here in the welcome box i know i look like trash been here for the most of the day we started at 10 38 she had her last puppy um about two hours after around 2 40 i guess so what had happened was she had her first puppy at 10 38 second puppy at 10 55 third puppy at 11 03 fourth puppy at 11 15 then we took a little bit of a break she had the fifth puppy at 12 03 the other one at 12 08 and then 12 35 and then we had a two hour break before the last puppy was born unfortunately i'm not really sure why he was perfectly formed and healthy, but the last puppy was born deceased or stillborn. Um, I don't know if it was because the last two hours of pushing, him being stuck in the canal. Um, maybe I could have tried something a little bit earlier. Maybe I could have gotten her up to go outside. He was actually born outside because she had. I got her up to go to the bathroom. And don't worry, he didn't like hit the ground hard. That's not why he died. Um, she was like this much from the ground when he came out. So he was perfectly fine. Like that caused it, but even when I went out well I was right behind her like with the rag ready and I picked him up and he was limp I brought him in here try to work on him he was limp um with the last litter frosty kind of you know about passed away on me but he showed signs of life this puppy just never gave me anything I mean I did mouth to mouth which might be gross to some of you but I did compressions I rubbed them I mean there was just nothing I could do and unfortunately that's just the hard part in reality of breeding sometimes you just lose them it sucks he was so pretty too he was a red male oh my god he was stunning but it's just a part of it honestly and unfortunately that's just the reality but we do have seven healthy puppies which we will choose to be thrilled about and be happy about and count our blessings there when puppies pass i always like to tell myself that there was a little girl or little boy or child somewhere in heaven who needed a puppy more than we needed it down here so but the puppies we do have you guys are stunning so I'm going to turn you guys around, share with you guys them, and the next video will be our litter announcement and introducing all of them to you guys, but I'm really excited for this litter. They're literally the perfect mix of Hattie and Briggs, so let me show you. All right, so here's Miss Hattie. She's doing so good. Here they are. Let's see if I can get to focus for you. There it goes. Look at that cute baby. So we've got three tuxedos, so orange collar, that's a boy. Green collar's a boy. And blue collar over here's a boy. We've got like a solid, like cream almost girl right here. That's Miss Pink. Yellow is a red girl. And then these two down here are boys, these two red boys. So we've got five boys, two girls. They're absolutely stunning. Hattie did a phenomenal job, honestly. She was such a good mom. The whole time she laid still, she pushed, she did her job, and she was so cool, calm, and collected, which I'm so proud of her because she tends to be a little bit of an anxious girl anyway, so I was honestly kind of nervous about how she would do, but she blew me out of the park. She was so amazing. So yeah, this is our newest litter. I'm so excited to share them with you guys and take you along for this journey. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.